President Rodrigo Duterte on Tuesday says he is not confident the proposed Bangsamoro Basic Law is allowed by the 1987 Constitution. Duterte does not elaborate on which aspect of the BBL draft now with Congress goes against constitutional provisions. But in an earlier speech, the President mentioned how the Moro Islamic Liberation Front is making territorial claims. Am I once territory? If you do that, it does not fit in the Constitution. You have to amend the Constitution. He says Moro National Liberation Front founder Noor Miswari has not been clear about what he wants from the BBL. But Duterte insists the peace process is the only option for the Mindanao region. Duterte earlier promised to certify the BBL as urgent. The House of Representatives has promised to pass the BBL by March 2018. Chief Justice Maria Lourdes Serena's camp says she cannot be compelled through a subpoena to attend the House Justice Committee's impeachment hearings. This after complainant Larry Gadon said he would move that the committee issue a subpoena against Sereno. Gadon said, quote, if she doesn't appear, I can also request that she be ordered arrested. Sereno's lawyer, Josa Dainla, calls Gadon's statement ridiculous. Dainla says compelling the Chief Justice to attend the hearings may lead to a constitutional crisis. House Justice Committee Chairman Reynaldo Umali says the issuance of a subpoena against Serena is something that majority of the committee would have to decide on. The committee will resume hearings on January 15, with more justices expected to testify. Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio has been invited, but he has yet to confirm his attendance. President Rodrigo Duterte declares a ceasefire with communist rebels during the Christmas season. The ceasefire will be from December 24, 2017 to January 2, 2018. Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana earlier said President Putin announced the suspension of military operations against the New People's Army. Duterte recently declared the CPP-NPA a terrorist organization. Presidential spokesperson Harry Rocky says, quote, This unilateral ceasefire would lessen the apprehension of the public this Christmas season. He expects that the CPP, NPA, and DFP would do a similar gesture of goodwill.